Moorhead State head volleyball coach Jamie Gordon joining us now on MSUEagles.com. Arizona State, the 15th ranked team in the nation, comes into Weatherby Gym and gets a three set victory. And Coach, I know another disappointing result, but just give us some of your thoughts on the match playing against uh, one of the best teams in the country. Um, you know, I think overall uh, we did okay. I thought we fought, came out and fought very well in the first set. Uh, really put ourselves in a position to, to maybe steal one there. Um, I thought that uh, one of the things that we didn't do very well was take uh, advantage of, of the opportunities that Arizona State gave us. Uh, when you have such a quality team, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of those. And the few that we did get, especially in the first set, uh, we weren't able to turn into points. And you know that's going to that's going to hurt you uh, again against a, a, such a physical team. All right, we'll open it up for questions. Um, how do you? Um... How do you feel about your team's start this season? Obviously, 0-9 uh, was probably not what you expected. So how do you feel about that? And what do you think you can do to uh, inf uh, kind of improve on the Sure, play? sure. Yeah, I, it's definitely not the, the type of start that we would, we would script. Um, but we've also we also knew that there were going to be some challenges in front of us uh, with some youth and inexperience. Um, but we've got talent. Uh, the, real, the other thing that we had was a pretty uh, demanding schedule that's not going to get any easier for us. Um, but our, our big focus is about improving and, and making sure that we're taking steps. Uh, and you know, I would say this weekend uh, we took a couple big steps forward last night, maybe a little step back today, and then another one forward. And so it's it's kind of it's not a smooth line; it's kind of an up and down um, line, kind of like the stock market. But you know, hopefully, uh, when it's all said and done, we're we're in the winners instead of uh, you know one of the junk stocks. Uh, what are the biggest strengths and weaknesses you take away from your team uh, during this tournament? Um, you know, I, I thought that, that we came together um, better as a team this weekend, uh, and, and that's a, a challenge that you have um, as you're growing is that you've got uh, individuals that are working hard on, on improving their own skills, um, but at the same time you're trying to build the team dynamic. And I thought today, or and, and last night specifically, we made some good strides in uh, improving the team dynamic. Um, OVC play starts in less than two weeks, so what do you tell your team after kind of a disappointing start for the season before they start tournament play? You gotta get better, you know, and you gotta make sure we're taking advantage of every practice and every contact uh, as an opportunity to improve um, because it is not gonna be an easy uh, road, uh, you know, even though, um, you know, we're, we've got the, we played the likes of, of Louisville and, um, you know, in Arizona State, and the next week we've got Purdue, we have Notre Dame. Um, that doesn't mean that when we step into OBC play that it's going to get any easier. Um, the only thing that it means is that we should have some uh, experience by that point. We're gonna, we should have some things to draw from uh, under our belt at that time, and, and that's when we've got to execute. Jamie, you had 11 ties in the first set, hotly contested there, and then match got away from you in the second set. I think they had a 9 or 10 point run. Tell us what went well in the first set when you're right in the thick of things and what kind of fell apart there in set number two. Well, I think it goes back to the transition opportunities. I thought our middles played really well. We had both middles that were hitting over 300 um, for the match, and that, that's, those are pretty big numbers against such a talented team. Um, I think when we needed some kills and we needed some points, we weren't able to get them the ball. Uh, we were playing out of system a little more than we'd like to. Um, I think our right side did a, a nice job. Both Jesse and Alex uh, did some good things for us offensively. Um, you know, the challenging piece too is that uh, when we needed a big dig, you know, honestly, Arizona State brought the heat, and uh, we needed uh, maybe a couple more defensive stops that we weren't able to, to put forward. Lots of size and athleticism with Arizona State. I know the NCAA tournament is probably the furthest thing from your mind right now, but this program's won four consecutive OVC regular season titles, and I know the next step in your mind is to get to the NCAA tournament and win a match. What do you think that your team has learned here in non-conference play, playing the likes of Arizona State and Louisville and some of the other stiff competition you've had. Um, well, there, there's, there's, I think, two big pieces. I think, one, we see what uh, is effective for us. Uh, we see where we um, kind of fall a little bit short. Uh, but the other piece is, is that when you step on the other side of, a, of, a, of the court of a really talented team, you also see how it can be done and how it should be done. And so I think there's some great examples as well um, from our opponents that, that we can apply uh, to what we're doing as well. A special start during the day, Tuesday in Marshall, and then the Eagles travel to Purdue for a three-match tournament this coming weekend. Head coach Jamie Gordon, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. All right, thanks, guys.